Hi guys. Hi. I'm back. Yes, I am actually doing a behind scene. Uh, I'm trying out a chicken recipe wrapped with banana leaf and one uh, grape leaf. So we don't have lotus leaf here in Sweden. So my friend gave me a bunch of uh, grape leaf. So I thought, why not give this a try? And this is edible. So. If you are new here, my name is Esti. I'm from Shokaholic. This is a channel about eating good food. Uh, the word Shokaholic means addicted to feeling good, eating good. So if you are into that, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe and put the notification bell on so you get to meet me live when uh, I'm cooking in the kitchen. So uh, this is uh, inspired by a uh, chef uh, from Singapore and I saw this video some time ago so I thought since I always like to eat chicken why not give this a try so the chef used a steaming method but I'm going to be trying to use a hot uh, crock pot method so over here I have some banana leaf which I bought at uh, the Asian supermarket so it's frozen you can buy them in one pack usually it comes uh, around one kilogram uh, and it's not really expensive so if you can't find banana leaf in your country you can search for any other leaf that is edible uh, this banana leaf is not edible it's not so nice but grape leaf is edible so you can eat them if you want to uh, the chef tried with lotus leaf lotus leaf is uh, very good for steaming but unfortunately we don't have it here and has this really um, nice smell and it gives this chicken a very special flavor so if you cannot get I'm gonna put the link uh, in the video description later on uh, I think you can find them at Amazon they sell that uh, and it's frozen so banana leaf and some grape leaf these are actually frozen grape leaf I bought, uh, I didn't buy this, I got this from a friend of mine who has a big garden and I was asking her if there's any edible leaf. So I pick a few grapes leaves and sh I freeze it, actually it's better to use it when it's fresh but I didn't have time that time when I did, uh, when I picked the uh, leaves so it's perfectly okay to freeze it because it still comes in one piece. It's a little bit fragile to handle. Uh, I'm sure it will work out. So, um, chicken, for this chicken, as you can see, I have, uh, it looks like it is quite uh, plain, but actually I have marinated this overnight uh, with plenty of salt, which I'm going to be showing you again, uh, because I still feel like, you know, uh, it's still lacking of salt. So with some wine and fish sauce and some sesame sauce, seed oil so i'm going to be placing this over here the chicken and so you can see the amount of juice that are left over so you see you're going to be using this juice don't throw it away all right so i'm going to put this aside and i'm going to add more salt And then when you buy the chicken from the farm or buy from the from the supermarket it is very very important that you uh, wash them in cold water and use the salt to wash them until the skin is like clean because there are some like um, hair sometimes you can find or some loose skin so it's important to just Make sure that you wash them properly before you use them. So now this chicken is ready. I'm going to just show you. If you can buy the banana leaf that is in two, like one hole would be better. Uh, I later realized that the banana leaf that I have is not a whole piece. It's actually half for me. So I'm going to try and figure out how to put this together, right? So let me just cut this because you don't want the, this edges. But maybe it's not a bad idea too to have edges. So I'm going to just put everything into this 
um, dish and uh, I'm going to season this banana leaf uh, as you can see banana leaf this is the smaller body and this is the bigger body so since I don't have the whole banana leaf a whole body so I'm going to be using just half of the body and I need to figure out what is the best way to wrap this so I think this is okay so you just need to find a dish I think this dish is it suits the, the chicken uh, it's a bit square so if you find something round with it will work too so I'm going to just put the chicken in here but because this is a very uh, one layer so to play safe yeah, I'm going to use another layer so that you know the chicken will not give away measure around approximately this much and then I'm going to just cut them. and I'm going to put it this direction okay crease cross direction so I have some shallot oil here you don't have shallot oil you can use chili oil this is chili plus shallot oil so I'm going to just rub them onto the cloth onto this cloth but banana leaf so that it is more easier to wrap and it will not stick to the the leaf on the grapes leaf so in with this and then I'm going to put this um, wine leaf just assemble them one Oh, this is a really big one so I think it should cover <laughs> see okay so now I'm gonna put the chicken in oops chicken in and then I'm gonna cover the chicken with the leaf too Right, this side. Hmm. I the leaf has two sides. One side is the underneath, and this side is the front. So I'm using the front part to cover the chicken. Okay, and then I think I take must well take one more. To cover the side and the other one to cover this side so now the chicken is covered with this leaf and I'm going to just put this banana leaf over so I'm going to tie this with a normal string and this string may be a little bit too long I'm going to have like two layers and then I'm going to go underneath and have to be really really careful yeah okay secure it don't tie too hard <laughs> Otherwise, the leaf will break, I think. Uh, and then there's water coming into the chicken, which is not so good. So now, uh, actually, i supposed to pour some... Excuse me, I forgot about the stock. So actually, you can spoon the stock also. Maybe let spoon the stock into the chicken. a little bit so that it has this nice nice flavor so here right what you do right so you want to cover the chicken again 
So I have one more layer, which is uh, a slightly longer one. So I'm going to move the chicken over carefully. And I think I just need to be really careful this part. Oh, maybe it will even work. Okay, let me just just tie this first. Uh, let me get the bowl here. And then this part. Okay, I want to tie this. So again, very careful. About two strings. So this chicken is going to be steamed uh, for at least four hours in the steamer. Uh, I'm using a crock pot because the steamer that I have is too is far too small. Actually, it works. Actually, you don't really need that, but. You know, just for safety purpose. Because the more layer you cover, the more it's difficult it is going to be cooked. But I'm just going to try just one layer more. Like a dead body, yeah. <laughs> so like wrapping a present, exactly like a present. Yeah. Actually, it's quite fun. I think I need more string. So you can buy this kind of string anywhere. Actually, all the grocery shop here in Sweden they have this. So, and of course, the banana leaf, it's better to, when you buy it frozen, remember to boil them in hot water. Because if you don't boil them in hot water, it will be quite stiff. So I was a bit lazy, so I just turned on my tap. My tap was really hot. So I just put the banana leaf into this big basin. And then I felt like, you know, it's enough. It's soft enough. So, but if you just want to be very sure you know i still feel like you ne really need to uh, boil a little bit so you get this even more softer so it's like it's like christmas isn't it this one <laughs> i'll show you why i didn't use a steamer all right uh, the reason why I have a steamer uh, at my summer house, which I think might fit this chicken. Now the chicken is ready. So I'm going to explain to you why I use a crock pot instead. Uh, if you come closer, let me bring you closer. Let's go to the crock pot. So I have a like a IKEA. I have an IKEA uh, pot like this one. So they have one that is deeper and one which is shallow. But because this is so shallow, the water, you know, the advantage is you can feel a lot of water because you're going to be boiling this like for four hours, right? So you need plenty of water in low heat and then you need to steam this like for four hours. So I tried to put the chicken in just now and then but because the lid is so flat the chicken will not fit into this steamer for sure I know. So I have a solution here which is my crock pot and here it is how it looks like. 
Uh, usually people use crock pot to cook, but for me, I like to use crock pot to steam also because it works. If you don't worry about the, the electricity, anyway, this is going on a very low a low heat. So the electricity is not like in a stove. The stove takes much, much more electricity. So crock pot is a very good alternative. So over here, I already have some hot water. And if you see, there is like a metal underneath. It's actually the steamer uh, holder. So again, I put another flat bowl to support the chicken. So that, you know, it will not fall off from that and it will not be sinking into the water. So with that in mind, I have a bowl. I'm going to put in the bowl so you can see uh, how I was thinking. So this is the bowl that I use for the chicken. So I just place it on top here. You see, it's just nice. But let me just wash this. It actually belongs to the chicken seasoning. This bowl I used it for the seasoning earlier on. So I just put it here, you see, it's stable. It doesn't move. So this is going to be slow cooking. So you can actually fill up the water up to the top if you are too lazy to fill up the water. So let me just do it because I'm too lazy to fill up more water. So I'm going to fill this crock pot until I reach the lid. Okay, so when I put my chicken in, you see the water still didn't touch the, the bowl. Okay, and flow into the bowl. So this is what you want. And I really feel it's so warm on top. So let's see, okay, finger crossing, yeah, and see if this works. So I'm going to put my chicken in. Make sure that it doesn't leak. Yeah. Seems like it is working. So and then I put the cover on. Ta -da! Yay! I'm so happy. So this is going to be cooking uh, or steaming uh, under very uh, high heat from the beginning. Uh, I'm going to just put on the timer to four hours. But I plan to make the first hour uh, high heat and then the three hours I'm going to put them in low heat. This is low heat, this is high heat. And four hours. So in four hours later, I'm going to come back on live and I'm going to show you how this chicken look like and taste like. All right, guys. So guys, this is just a trial and I hope I can work this out. And if it works, I'm going to make a recipes video on this and uh, post it in my YouTube channel. So guys, if you subscribe to my channel or when you subscribe to my channel, this is what you will get. You will get to chat with me live at Facebook or YouTube, but mostly I'm at YouTube. So put a notification bell on uh, so that every time when I come on to live, you will get to see me immediately. Click, yeah. So when we jump on live, we can chat and get to know you better and me better, right? So we get to know each other better. So this is not just me cooking, it's the program is for you. Let me know what you think about this idea and uh, let's hope that it works and I hope you check me out again later four and a half hour later to see how this is going today is a beautiful weather I take a day off from my job to do this and also to do some errands later so crock pot is a very good uh, tools where you could use to make food that you don't want to just spend a whole day like one two hours there cooking so what I do is I prepare this usually in the evening so when i go to work i just put everything on and then i turn eight hours and when i come back it's like you know healthy slow cooked food which is really comforting uh, especially during the autumns and winter so i hope you find that 
not just uh, subscribing, getting recipes, you also get tips about how you can uh, use certain food for better health. Uh, I have a lot of issue with myself, uh, especially over 50. I start to see people around me, they start to have stroke, they start to have diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, even cancer. And it really scares me. And I hope that I could convert my channel into something that I'm more focused onto the food that we eat every day and how it affects our health. And also uh, giving you guys tips on how to harvest the products uh, and then use them and for your own benefits and your loved one. All right, guys, I hope to see you. And don't forget to subscribe. See you again later. Bye-bye.